we have discussed about how to reduce friction and how to increase friction. Let me give another example where you can see how the friction is affected by those parts. Generally, um, if you see the vehicle wheels, like motorbike wheels, cycle wheels, you heard about steel balls inside the wheels. Now, what is the usage of those steel balls? Why they keep inside? Similarly, these steel balls are kept between the shafts of different machinery tools. Why it is like that? Let me tell you. These steel balls are called ball bearings. If you take two discs, disc 1, disc 2, and keep one disc over the another disc and try to move, then what happens? Are you able to move easily? No. You feel little, you feel that the two sticks are attached, stick to each other. So you have to apply larger force to move the one disc over the another disc. But if you keep the ball bearings like steel balls between the two discs and started moving then what happened you easily move so because of the ball bearings what happened the friction between the two discs yes because of ball bearings it is decreases so these ball bearings are used for decreasing the friction between the two discs so the disc can be moved easily the same principle applied for different wheels of automobiles too. In sciences, we discussed that the greatest revolutionary came in the world because of wheel. Wheel has changed the, changed the world, the way the world thinking. Wheel developed the transportation between place to place, between one city to another city. Today you are seeing that it is not only used for transportation, it is also used for traveling or taking the people from one place to the another place. So if you think the world without, without wheel today is very impossible to you. Now this wheel, how they are actually rotating on the road? They are rotating on the road with the stability because of another type of friction called rolling friction. Earlier we discussed about static friction and sliding friction and this is a special category in the friction, rolling friction. You know, whenever the wheel, whenever the wheel moving on the road, say I started with the word moving on the road, there are two possibilities. It can rotate or it can slide what difference between rotation and slide? Now imagine carefully. You have seen many times, maybe you have not observed that. When a car is moving on the road, if you see the movement of the tire, movement of the wheel, then the wheels are rotating and the car is moving in the forward direction. Suppose the car driver applied the brakes immediately, not gradually applied the brakes, immediately applied the brakes to the wheels, then what happened? Then the movement of the wheel suddenly stops, but the car doesn't stop. Car will move to forward direction, and we say that the car slipped from that point. As soon as the car slipped from that point, the wheels are actually not rotating; they are sliding, they're sliding on the road, and that is a very dangerous condition. That's the possibility of car accidents or any vehicle accident. Now, how the rolling friction is helping the wheel to move? in rotatory motion in the forward direction. So if you take this as surface, ground surface, and the ground surface is wheel is rotating. So when the wheel rotates, the rotating, the rolling friction has to give a necessary stability to the wheel to move in the forward direction. How it gives? This wheel surface and the road surface are touching at one point. It's called point of contact. At this point of contact, the rolling friction is acting and make the wheel to stable at that point only. 
Understand me clearly. I'm not saying they're stable to the wheel. Rolling friction provides a necessary stability to the point of contact. So that this point of contact is stable. At the next moment when the wheel rotates, next moment the wheel rotates, say, I'm drawing the same wheel here. Rotates. Another point, so this is point A, another point in contact, point B. Now point A is released, now point B is in contact with the road surface and it will be in stability situation. So in that way, every point on the wheel, when it's touching the ground, it comes to the stable point. So that all the points touching the ground, stable point, make the wheel to rotate in a stable way. If not, it slides and leads to accidents. So in that way, the friction acted when the bodies are in rolling or bodies are in rotatory motion is called rolling friction. And rolling because of rolling friction, you get the stability of the wheel at the point of contact so that the wheel can rotate instead of sliding. So far, we have discussed about the friction and types of friction, especially when the solid objects are at are involving. But you should know that friction is not only acting on solid bodies, friction acting in liquids, friction is acting in gases like air. So generally liquids and gases combinedly called as fluids because they have flu flow property. Liquids can flow, gases can flow, like air can flow. So you have friction in fluids also. So fluid is nothing but either you can say liquid or gas like air. How you are experiencing the friction in, on the solid objects, you have the friction in liquid and gas. Take an example. Take a glass of water glass of water and uh, take a, um, a small glass tube or a spoon and rotate it, stir it, stir it or rotate the glass stick inside the water, then what happens? So water starts rotating along the walls or the walls of the glass, but it won't, it won't rotate for longer time. After some time, it stops. Why? Why the water rotation inside the glass stops? It's only because of fluid friction. That fluid friction makes the water to stop. This fluid friction is also called drag effect. Or I can say drag force. So that drag force makes the atoms of the fluid comes to stop. Generally, Take another example of air. When the car is moving on the road, we say that there is a frictional force between the wheels of the car and the ground surface. But there is a frictional force due to air also. If huge amount of air is coming towards the car or coming towards the person who is riding the bike, then you just imagine the bike riding person also experiences some air, the heavy amount of air is pushing, pushing backward direction. That experience of pushing backward direction is what called fluid friction, air friction. So frictions exist in fluids also. So we have understand that uh, what is fluid friction. Fluid friction, we discussed that it's a drag force which make the body to stop when the bodies are in the fluid state. I mean the bodies are moving in the fluids. Now coming to discuss about what are the factors affecting fluid friction. So see, if you think that take two glasses, two glasses, in one glass you have water, in another glass you have honey, honey, high density material. So this is water glass. This is honey. Now start stirring in water as well as honey. 
start stirring. So tell me in which case the fluid comes to stop in short period of time. Obviously, honey, because as the high density material, its drag force is more or its fluid friction is more, so the honey comes to stop in short period of time comparing to water. So, fluid friction depends upon the point number one depends upon type of fluid. Now, second. It depends upon shape of an object, shape of an object, obviously. If you see, uh, you take a car like this, a car is like this, generally we see the car on the roads and if you see the front part of the car, it is little rectangular, this part is a little rectangular. But if you see the sports car, sports car, see the front part of the sports car, like Formula 1 racing sports cars, if you observe, those sports cars have different shape compared to normal cars. And I can say that those cars will have a little sharp projected like this, the Formula 1 cars. Why they like that? Because of this sharp front part, it cuts the fluid. It cuts the fluid and the body can move faster compared to the, compared to the previous car. So shapes also affects the fluid friction. So in this case, the fluid friction is less. But in the previous case, the normal general cars, the fluid friction is more. So fluid friction is affected by shape of an object. Now the third factor, speed of an object. Fluid friction also depends on speed of an object. You can have the experience in daily life every day. Suppose you are riding a motorbike and suppose you are moving with the speed of 20 kmph and some amount of air is coming towards you. You feel the little amount of air friction. But if you increase the bike speed from 20 kmph to 70 kmph, 70 kmph to 80 kmph, then how do you feel? Of course, you are moving very fast. At the same time, the air is also hitting you. You feel that the air is hitting you. That means in that way, the fluid friction is developed. So, there are three factors which are affecting the fluid friction. One is type of fluid, two is shape of an object, third is speed of an object. So, I want to give a little more explanation about shape of an object. I told you that in the Formula 1 racing sports cars have the front part little sharp pen and this is called streamlining streamlining so the streamlining idea has come to scientists by watching the birds flying in the sky birds have beak like this the sharp pen beak so why the part is shaped like that because when they wanted to fly in the air as you know that air has so much amount of friction so they have, when they want to move little faster in the air, they have to cut the air, they have to cut the air layers like this, so that it can move in the forward direction with a little speed. So taking the idea, they have developed aerodynamic vehicles, example aeroplanes. If you see, the, if you watch the aeroplane shape, it is also streamlined like that. So the front part is short pinned. So the air is when the aeroplane is moving in the sky, it easily cuts the air and can move with higher speed.